<sighs> Excuse me, so my trips to Yorktown are always short-lived. <laughs> it's like I get here and time flies and the next thing I know I gotta be heading home and that just so sucks. Because I could probably stay out here all day. The only drawback is that there's really no restrooms here. Like you gotta go into one of the buildings to use the bathroom and that just irritates me. Like, you know, gift shop or whatever. But it's not like there are like here here you know what I mean um but it has been a pretty interesting visit there are some places that I wanted to go but I didn't quite get a chance to go to so I'll be coming back um like I said the energy here is it's just it's fascinating and um the shadow people that walk around here it just fascinates me this is one place that um I've never been afraid to come to Williamsburg either when it comes to like Duke of Gloucester Street. But um, over here, I've never been, I've never been afraid to come over here either. A um, lot of history here. It was funny because I met this lady in one of the shops and told her where I was from. And she was like, oh, um, you're from a historical place too, which Urbana does have a lot of history to it. Um, but I just like to come out here because like I said, I feel very connected here. Um, it's just interesting <laughs> every time I come out. So hopefully I'll be able to come back here, you know, in a couple weeks. It's just, you know, during the daytime, it's a little bit hard because you have so many cars driving around. But in this particular spot, it's a tourist spot anyway. So, you know, it doesn't matter really if it's during the daytime or nighttime, you're going to get all these cars and it's hard for you to do the EVP sessions. But I did do a few recordings. I'll listen to those when I get home. So, excuse me, um, very active out here. You know, like I said, the energy shifts in certain places. There's cold spots in certain places. There's shadow figures always in the woods, or I'll see apparitions crossing the street. It doesn't have to be during the nighttime for me to see that. You know, it happens during the daytime, too. I just saw something pass by me over to my right. So, it's... um it's, it's still very active here as far as spirit is concerned and as far as, um, you know, people that I guess you can say have not crossed over. They don't realize that they are, uh, they don't realize really that this is the 20th century. They're still living their life as if they're still here, if that makes sense. So that's why I find it so fascinating and it's not my job or any of my business to cross people over. I just don't think that you can, you know, and it's really not my place. So anyway, I'm going to head back across the bridge, you know, and hopefully I'll make it back out here soon. And, uh, I need to use one of my friends as a trigger, th a trigger. <laughs> I'm going to use a person as a trigger to help me next time. You know who you are. Um, that would be perfect. I could have a uniformed person walk through here and just use them as a total trigger person. That might help me. Too bad it wouldn't be a foggy day for that. Um, but anyway, I hope that y'all have a great day. And thanks for watching. Um, thanks for listening to me. I do have some things coming down the pike. I'll announce that later when I get everything lined up. Um, so anyway, I appreciate y'all. And I, again, hope that you have a great day. And sorry I didn't tell anybody I was really coming out here. But sometimes I just need to be by myself, gather my thoughts. We all need to do that right and ground. And this is the perfect spot to do that. So, anyway, y'all have a great day. I got to go get my split pea suit from Mia. Bye.